Crouch. Bind. Set. Work. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. The feed from Lobjanite, Ireland trying to hold tight here. They've been absolutely mangled in that scrum, and that's dangerous. That is dangerous. We were having a, a chat with uh, Elaine Roland, the head of the referees, and he mentioned the scrum. The pre-engagement is a big Point. issue the referees are going to look for here. Set. What's going on? Yes. That's right, it's OK. There's the feed from Lobjanite. And again, Georgia try and get that push on. I'll tell you what, that is a brilliant scrum by the Georgians, and they have penalty advantage as well. Massive scrum from Georgia. Crouch! When you look at the, uh, the bench Bind. for Georgia, you got the likes of uh, Nika Neferidze and Georgi Milikidze, both having uh, played Czech 14 at Rugby for Cremon and the Stade Francais this season. A bit of nonsense off the ball between uh, Tom Phillips and uh, Tom Phillips. Still a very long period to go in this game. They are now in the game. Mubarak are desperately trying to get that ball out, but you see the ascendancy in which the Canadian forwards are right now in that particular phase of play. Crouch! Find! Set! Set! Home! Oh, some big scores in these games and now the scrum gets put under pressure with Tunu. There's Linda with Tunu. Is it number eight? Here comes the Canadian captain. Set! Good hit early on by the Welsh. Looking for a strike, but look at that. Brilliant show when Russell picks off the base by Canada. Advantage to the Canadians. Not surprised with this effort. More to feed again. Canada trying to get a shove in the front row, and that's a pretty good effort. And they managed to get the strike too. Russell picks it off. Two outsider. Russell with the dummy. Away six. She chooses another shoulder. Here is the scrum half. Any room for her? Little dummy. Josephson trying to go for the line. She's in. Glory Joseph. The clock feeds it. As Bilaru shoots on they set up. New Zealand with three. That's as big an indicator as the way that this has gone so far. Big, big shove from the French eight. They get the call as well. Came fourth last year. That was the third time they've come fourth and they've never got further. They've never been able to pick up a medal. So the ambition is there. The public belief is there, and when you see performances from their pack, you realise it's got validity. Well, they're going to have to really dig their heels in here at Scrum Time New Zealand. Can they hold this strong French scrum? Good initially, here it comes. Here comes the power, there's the penalty. Here come France once again. Paul, engage! Cittadini on this side against... Botvinnikov and uh, a big points decision there to the Italian scrum. Marching. Touch. Pull. Engage. Ongaro is the, the scrum organizer for the Italians. Carrying a lot of niggling injuries. And again, the Russian scrum marks many meters. Oh, look at that. Ongaro has come up. 
for three. So when he's designer shorts. Oh, <laughs> engage! Controlled by Parise. Russian scrum in disarray here. And he marched about 15 metres. And finally, he's by score at a number six. Italian tight head slipping over there. Scrum. Pops up the ball. Big chance here. Tony Alati out on the right. Parise. Tony Alati gets it. 